Hey church, how are you doing? I hope you've had a wonderful week so far. It's been a pleasure to be bringing you these devotions, the Fiercely Determined, as part of our This Audacious Life series. We know we've been looking at Jesus and how he lived the most audacious life, and really we are aligning ourselves with him. It's not uh, a culture, it's not a mantra, it's not an organization, but really it's aligning ourselves with heaven, with the person of Christ, and how we can be more like him through our, our culture points. Um, as we come to the conclusion of this week, we looked at how, you know, we've got to know our why. Our why is our vision because without vision, we perish. So we've got to know our why, we've got to know what we're aiming for, we've got to know where we're going, and that allows us to be determined. After that, we've got to know that we can't be distracted. We can't look at, we'll be busy looking at other people's lives, other, other lanes. Really, we've got to fix our eyes on, on the why, but also knowing what, what we've got to do at hand. And also, not giving up keep moving forward as martin luther says you know if you can't run then walk if you can't walk then crawl whatever you got to do do whatever you got to do to keep moving forward and that's part of uh, not looking back you know fix your eyes on the prize in front of you don't look back and really that's that's what this week has been about not giving up being fiercely determined being like jesus in our pursuit of what is before us again our key scripture has been Luke 5 51 which said which you know weaves this entire week together for us for before Jesus before the time came when Jesus would be taken up to heaven he resolutely set out for Jerusalem knowing full well what was on the other side of 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 Jerusalem he still went in that direction but real, reality is Jesus couldn't do it by himself as we read earlier in the account of Gethsemane he was ministered to by angels and they strengthened him and for us we're not alone we have the Holy Spirit See, as much as we're saying, you know, don't give up, you know, fix your eyes on, on the prize, you know, keep moving forward. As much as we're saying, don't look back, don't get distracted. All of these things that we've said throughout the course of the week, really, it's not in our own strength. We can't do it by ourselves. We need the Holy Spirit. In fact, Zechariah, one of the prophets, says this uh, in, in his scripture. It says, so he said to me, this is the word of the Lord for Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, O Lord Almighty. It is by his spirit. And all the things where, where you find yourself this week, where you're like, gosh, I want to be fiercely determined. I want to be like Jesus in this way, but I just don't know how. Let me encourage you that the Holy Spirit is with you. And so what I'd love for you to do today is just put on some music um, and just, you know, put everything down and just give him some space. Create some time in your day today just to spend it with the Holy Spirit and allow him to minister to you just as the angels did to Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I, and I know for a fact that he will empower you, he will strengthen you, and he will restore you so that you too can live fiercely determined. God bless you, church. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I pray that you bow well. Bye now.